Another East Texan with a connection to Israel is speaking out tonight. For the past 10 years, students and staff at East Texas Baptist University in Marshall have traveled to the country each and every spring. And as KLTV 7's Christine Guevara reports, they're worried for the friends they've made now living in a war zone. Here's the day, the reflection that day when we went to the Dead Sea and to the Jordan River. It's an annual trip to the Holy Land, where East Texas Baptist University students study abroad to learn not only about the biblical part, the historical part, but the current culture of Israel um, and the makeup of Israelis, um, Arab Christians, Arab Muslims. Dr. Thomas Sanders is the ETBU Provost Vice that's, President that's, of that's Academic that's Affairs and leads the student tours all throughout Israel as they gain experience and make connections with people. But again, this is just constant. But after learning about the recent attacks on the place that cultivated memories, the thought of friends and their safety arose. I feel extreme sadness for my friends in Israel, and I have, um, I've texted a couple of times with some friends that are there. One of my friends um, has two sons serving in the military in Israel right now, and so he's very concerned about his sons. But also, I feel sadness for the people who just live in Gaza, that they have nothing to do with Hamas, and they're caught in the middle. It's difficult to say anyone wins in this situation. Dr. Sanders says even students are wanting to show their support and solidarity. They've been asking what I've been hearing from our friends in Israel. Israel. Uh, can we send them emails to tell them we're praying for them? They just want to check on them because when you spend 10 days with someone 24-7, you develop a unique relationship. But I think the most powerful thing for us to do is to pray for, for everyone involved um, and to pray that hearts will be touched and that decisions will be made that reflect the value of human life. Christine Guevara, KLTV 7 News. Now, another one of those trips to Israel is set to happen in March, and they plan to decide on either postponing or carrying on with that trip sometime within the next couple of weeks.